that. Another flow RPM2. This one's a 20 meter, but it might be a, a version 2 or a cross country XC version, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to find out. So, I've always had this nagging question in my head. Maybe you have too. How much difference does one wing size make? If you were to get an 18 or a 20 or a 20 or a 22, how much difference is it with the exact same wing, just one size different? Well, luckily today, I had the opportunity to find out. So we're gonna be flying a 20 meter RPM2. And obviously you're aware that I have an 18 meter RPM2 or had, I guess you could say at this point, but so yeah, let's see how much difference one size makes. Kind of surprised that it's pretty significant actually. Spoiler alert. <laughs> little bumpy, but we're going to get some altitude. I always end up with these toggles backwards. Twisted backwards. <laughs> Every time. I got to get used to that. But Let's see, I want to go completely hands up. I don't think so. I don't know. Let's see. It's pretty bumpy though. I mean, we definitely oscillating. Yeah. Let's see. Let's dampen it out. We do have some like kind of formations of clouds around. He's bouncing around, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, I don't think this is the version 2. I don't think it's a cross-country version. That's okay. Carl did an ill-wind launch on this wing, and he said it felt significantly easier than the 18. So two meters, you wouldn't think makes a very big difference, but... It's a little too bumpy for me to be using any kind of speed bar. But... We're gonna see... Man. This wing definitely feels... less maneuverable than the 18. It's maneuverable, but it's not the 18, that's for sure. Whew. This wind is like weird though. Very gusty. It's like relatively strong, but it is pretty gusty. So, let's see what we got just with a tip in. Yeah, look how much I'm deflecting that tip. I'm not getting... All right, so now let's try just like a straight down. Get a lot more break into it. All right, so that's actually... I feel like I get a lot better turn just falling straight down and like twisting the wrist and using just the tip, you know? All right, let's see if we can get some... a little bit of altitude. Trick fit under there. I don't know if you can even see that. But. Yeah, strong wind. 
always good to get a nice test flight in. It definitely feels like it builds good energy. like the 20 I mean obviously we're not comparing apples to apples but the 20 to an 18 but the 20 feels significantly more docile than the 18 I would say it's like 20% more brake pressure and 20% more docile I, I don't think this is the first time I've actually flown the exact same wing in two different sizes. So I was really curious about that, like how much of a difference it would make, you know. I don't have any way to tell speed with me right now. How's our layer I have a lot of slack like this is pulling out the slack that's like over 12 inches of slack in the brakes so that could have something to do with like that docile feeling that I'm getting you know it's just how much slack there is in the brakes a lot of the wings that I fly don't have nearly the amount of uh, nearly the amount of slack but for as bumpy as it is today this wing does feel pretty good in in terms of like stability it feels very solid Look at how small those cell openings are on this wing. Very small cell openings. I also feel like this wing is very, very efficient. Like look at our glide slope here. I think I'm gonna overshoot if I'm honest. I mean the wind is gusting so that's helping me. But of course watch like as soon as I get close to the ground the wind's gonna die out on me. Ooh. Yeah, this wing glides, man. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, well, she uh she was going forward on me. All right, apparently Carl didn't quite get my launch very well, so he wants me to do it again. So, we're going to take her around for one more one more rip. Let's see. Our wind shifted. Look at that. Now we got it out of that way. <laughs> Little turd. No. Nope. See. Now I think it's coming. There we go. That was not as good of a launch as the last one because I rushed through my kiting phase, but the wind is real gusty, so like if you get it up, you gotta go. There ain't no diddle daddling around here. You get the wing up, go. But one thing I will say is like this wing is extraordinarily easy to kite compared to even the original Flow RPM, the 18 meter. The warp is like somewhat difficult for me to kite. I don't know why, but I have I have issues. The Jin Carve is pretty good and the Nucleon's very easy for me, but this wing is extraordinarily easy to kite.
Look at that though. Like with a lot of my other wings, if I'd have done that. So I pulled, pull into my left brake, throttle up, keep the brake down. There we go. A lot more pressure. Uh, you gotta arm wrestle this thing a bit more than the 18s that I've been flying. Went through my wake there, everything felt good. I mean, I definitely rocked, but the wing didn't didn't do anything weird. Yeah, I feel like this is a very solidly built wing. It's very confidence inspiring. Um, I mean, once again, like this is, I think this is the original. So, like you can see, look, here we're gonna turn. Ooh, big gust of wind right there. Man. Uh, you see, that's, that's one thing that's not helping my stability, obviously, like. But, all right, so we're straight into the wind here. Uh, Still our toggles. And look at it. Now let's see. I want to see if we get below the horizon. Oh, uh, we're going to. Now this is trimmed basically all the way in, I think. Yeah. She oscillates like a banshee. That still happens. <laughs> uh, and these twisty toggles. I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure I would get used to them. But... Carl launched this in absolutely no wind, and he said this wing launched super easy. And he struggles to launch the 18 in no wind, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. But like any other wing I have, there is no way that I would be able to glide from here, especially with this wind and no throttle. Like, this wing is extraordinarily efficient. <laughs> like, yeah, this wing is very efficient. I had a beautiful landing last time. Let's see if I can match it. Let's see if I can match it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> nice. And like, let's see. Oh, she overshot me there. See that? It overshot. So those were my two flights on the 20 meter flow RPM2. Um, it's a good wing. It's, like I said in the video, I feel like it's about 20% less dynamic. 20% heavier brake pressures um, but probably at least 20% more lifty easy to launch and just very good amount of lift um, one other thing that I found while I was looking through the specs is that um, at the smaller sizes the 15 the 17 the 18 have a 5.8 aspect ratio whereas the 20 and the 23 have a 6.0 aspect ratio so it is a pretty high aspect ratio wing, which typically means that you have a little less uh, dynamic handling when you have that high of an aspect ratio. Like uh, a lot of the acro wings are a much lower aspect ratio than that. So maybe that contributes somewhat to the wing not being quite as agile, but it contributes to it being really efficient. So speed and efficiency come with high aspect ratio. So. But yeah, it's it's definitely a good wing. It's just uh, it's very oscillation happy. But I do know that they have a version two, which is supposed to be less likely to oscillate. And then they also have the XC version, which completely eliminates the oscillation 100% altogether. I haven't flown either one of those. I tried to get a demo, but never got the wing. So. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised at how big a difference there is when you just move one size from an 18 to a 20. Now, I'm in the intermediate range. I'm maxed out on the 18, and it's 10 kilograms higher for the 20. So, you know, it's not like a huge, 
huge difference in, in weight ratings for the two wings. And the other thing is the, um, I mean, they technically put the advanced takeoff weight at 140 for the 18 and 150 for the 20. I'm about 120 total, which is where the intermediate takeoff weight is for the 18. So, you know, if you were like maxed out, like right on the edge of a wing, and then you were kind of between that wing or going one size bigger, it, at least in this case, it makes a bigger difference than I would have thought. So that's pretty surprising to me, but hope you all enjoyed it. See you on the next one.